I'm going in. Hey everyone. I'm at the Juniper Springs Recreational Area Campground in Ocala, Florida. You can see the van behind me. It's a pull through site. There's no hookups here, but I'm all set. My battery's doing good. I get a little bit of sun here, so my solar should stay charged, except for we're at a 25% chance of rain and it's supposed to be mostly cloudy today. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it for tonight. I'm about to go do a little bit of hiking. In my last video, I showed you a little bit of the springs here. I'll show you a little more of that today. I slept good last night. I have a beautiful sight. I showed that in the last video. I'll show it again here. It's a really nice campground. It's clean, beautiful, lots of amenities. Other than hookup, like I said, which, you know, sometimes the best sites don't have hookup. And uh, there, there are restrooms and showers here. So it's, it's not primitive really by any means. All right, I'm gonna get going here. So this trail leads directly from the campground and will take me over to the springs, I believe. It looks like there's a number of ways you can go here. And there's no signage, so I'm just going to pick one. I can hear the water, probably from the water wheel on the mill house, which I'll show you. Everything here is pretty close together. Here you can see the mill house. We're coming up on that and the springs. It's funny when I was trying to get a, an idea of where everything was at here yesterday, I rode my bike the long way around. I could have walked right over here very quickly. That's the trail I just came in on. I'm gonna try to get a good image of the springs. I have photos yesterday that I took that I can also put in here, some video footage. But I don't wanna take any pictures of the kids and it sounds like there's kids playing around over there in the springs. And I have to respect people's privacy. Let me go over and see what I can get for you. So I believe this trail wraps around and runs along Juniper Creek. Looks like the mill house exhibit is closed. I was thinking I'd be able to go in there, but it's probably closed due to COVID.
I'm seeing all this for the first time with you guys. <laughs> Some of you probably seen this before. It's a popular campsite. Campground. <laughs> Super old bridge here. They have it closed off, you can't walk on it. Makes sense as old as it is. It's starting to mist. It missed a little bit this morning and didn't didn't last. It stopped, but it's starting up again. Hopefully it won't get any worse than this because I didn't really prepare for it. <laughs> I'm not going to let it stop me from enjoying myself though, that's for sure. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> that's the trail that's supposed to wrap along the creek. <laughs> and we don't get to see it. Okay, I wish I'd known that. I wanted to get to Fern Hammock Springs which I still can. It looks like on the map I can cut through the campground and get over there. So let me see what I can do. The trails here have a lot of tree roots and things, but they're cut back nice and easy to see where they are. And then in the wet areas over parts of the springs and things, there are the walkways, the board walkways. The vegetation is just really lush all around, probably because of the springs, everything's probably really healthy. Looks like the picnic area is over there again. I was real close to this yesterday and didn't know it. <laughs> there you go. There's the other end of that trail that I showed you was closed off. I really wanted to take that trail. All right. Look at that gorgeous color. Oh, wow. It's like a jewel. I think this campground is in need of some repairs, but with the parks all struggling for funding a lot of times, maybe it's hard to get them done.
So I'm just gonna head back over to the spring pool the same way I came. You can see all the little fishes in there. I do hope I can come back up here today and get in this water. Up there is the concessionaire, which is closed due to COVID. There's a lot of picnic tables and things like that. You can bring your own lunch and sit up there. Enjoy the day. This park is popular with day visitors. I will be going back up there later today and getting in that water. <laughs> I mean, unless it's pouring down and raining and really cold. The springs themselves are supposed to be about 72 degrees year-round. It's when I get out of the water that I'm worried about. But I leave tomorrow, and I don't want to miss being able to do that. So I'm going to try to do that. Van looks good sitting here, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going in. Well, the water's warm, but the outside temperature's not that warm. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. <laughs> I would have regretted if I hadn't done it. It looks like everybody has left, and I have the springs to myself. <laughs> I'm out of here because it is getting cold. I think my body temperature is dropping, so I can't stop shivering. <laughs> to show you how unpredictable the weather is. The temperature is nice right now. Uh, when I was in the springs, it was too cold 
I was shivering. It took me a while to, to warm up. I came back and I had some leftover soup and that helped. Uh, I'm trying to get my bathing suit dry and my towel and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> because it's just getting gloomier and gloomier out. Oh. But I'm not letting anything spoil my fun. This is very nice and I'm so glad to be here. I was kind of disappointed that that one trail was closed and they were very short trails, a little bit that I was able to go on, but the park itself is beautiful and it's a great park to come with family and friends because um, the, the sights are so nice. And then the spring is really pretty on a hot summer day. I mean, I don't think you'd want to get out of it. <laughs> But I didn't want to get out of it. I stayed for a while. But, but then I just got too cold, which is probably why I got so cold. Tomorrow I leave here and I'm headed to my next destination. Drive days are hard sometimes, but I always look forward to getting to that next place and seeing what awaits me. So dinner tonight is just a falafel burger and probably some chips. I'm gonna keep it simple. <laughs> I just use this mix. It's like a, a dehydrated ingredients by Tarazi. And I think it tastes pretty good. It makes nice burgers because you can just add enough water to keep it nice and stiff and it's very quick. <laughs> okay. So that's it for this video, guys. Tomorrow I am headed to Oleno State Park, north of here. So I hope you'll join me for that. I'm going to eat and start packing things up, get as much as I can done for the drive tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you then.